Guys, Gadget Reviews here. Today I'm going to be walking through iOS 5 beta. So this is my new iPhone. Um, I didn't really do an unboxing because there's about a million unboxings about the iPhone and this one's for Verizon. As you can see, there's no text up down here. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. So I got my developer account yesterday. And I still have 50 licenses, so the first uh, 50 people, I guess, to message me can get the uh, license codes and stuff, or the UDID, I can add them to my list. So, um, as you can see, it's just the home screen, there's no camera um, icon in this build currently, but as you can see, um, so we'll basically walk through, there's calendar, photos, uh, all this I aligned, there's this new thing, it's called Newsstand, and I'm recording without a um, tripod because I can't seem to find mine. So this is basically where you can get magazines and stuff. It's basically like iBooks. Well, it is iBooks. Um, but uh, you can't get it because uh, you can't connect to the store. It's not available in this build. Uh, next is whatever, utility, same thing. iTunes, the App Store. Um, they changed the iPod uh, iPod logo. So instead of containing whatever iPod and then it has uh, videos and podcasts they made it separate so this one's for music only um, so as you can see and then you have videos over here so and then the um, no normal stuff uh, let's see what else let's go into settings or first Let's go into notifications. So this is um, one of the biggest uh, changes, is notifications. As you can see, to activate the notifications, you just slide down, or just pull down like a drawer. Um, it's very similar to a lot of Android phones. It's actually, um, I believe, copied from them. Uh, so as you can see, I have a voicemail from this number, um, a couple mail from my exchange account, um, and as you can see, my stock widget and uh, my weather widget and then my Facebook widget. So that's it. And then to close it, you just pull it up, pull it back down. So um, let's go into settings now. As you can see, uh, let's see what's changed. Well, these buttons have changed. Personal hotspot is the same. Notifications you can change um, how you want your, how how you want the notifications to come up uh, manually by time and then notifications. So as you can see for my um, for my Twitter notifications, do I want none? Do I want a banner or do I want an alert? So you can choose that as well. Um, what else? So this is just notifications. Let's go into sounds. This is normal. Uh, I know you can actually change the vibrate um, intensity. So you can actually, um, like for example, you have different ringtones for different people. You can actually you can actually customize the way that it vibrates for different people. Which is pretty cool. Um, and if that's probably my dog in the background, so I apologize for that. Uh, let's see, general, about, as you can see, I'm running Verizon. Um, I have a 32 gig phone, and it's running 5.0, Verizon 10.1. As you can see, there's a new software update button right over here. So this basically would get over-the-air updates. Uh, I believe it's for Verizon and AT&T, but I'm not too sure about that. I know it's for Verizon, definitely. Um, so this is the usage. So it, it shows you how many um, how many applications you have and the sizes of the applications. I guess like the biggest first. Um, and then the good thing I found about the iPod is you can actually uh, delete the podcast and music and stuff. And as you can see, I got a text. So let me kill that. It just fades away, as you can see. Um, what else? So we're in settings. 
So as you can see, if I want to delete this keynote, I just press delete and I can delete it straight from my phone uh, without having to connect to the uh, PC and stuff, or Mac, not PC. Um, as you can see, the iCloud, I have total available 5 gigs, and then uh, you can also buy more storage. Right now, um, it's actually, you can't actually buy anything because it's not working in this build. As you can see, has been uh, is not possible at this point. Battery percentage, usage, um, current time, blah blah blah, network. So this is usage. iTunes Sync. This is very um, very nice. This basically what it does is um, it automatically syncs and backs up your iTunes. Uh, currently in build in the first build, it doesn't work. So um, in order to sync it up, you would have to manually sync it. Network is the same. No real difference over here. Bluetooth, nothing. Uh, spotlight search, nothing much. Um, let's see which else. Which ones? Uh, there's a profile over here. I don't think any anything changed. Nope. Oops. So um, next, let's go into iCloud. As you can see, I have my account up there. Um, I have all these linked up to my iCloud. And then you can do storage and backup. And then my mail. This is my mail. Uh, I had a couple problems with my Gmail, so I took it out. I'm going to add it back in. Um, nothing too big. Uh, so this is my Twitter account. You guys can follow me if you want and has very uh, deep Twitter integration and then phone you can see the phone number and stuff uh, for FaceTime blah 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 you can do either the uh, number or the email address uh, for Safari nothing really different you can change your search engines which I think you could probably do that before private browsing that's new um, messages you can see, um, you can do group messages, you can show the sh uh, subject field. Music, same thing. Videos, same thing. Photos, didn't really change except for the photo stream. Um, notes, nothing. Store, nothing. And then the developer tab, which basically has your developer information. And then down here is just your applications. That uh, that you can use the settings in there for, and uh, so this is basically it. Uh, it's a very it's very nice. I mean, it's it's not beta one is very uh, it has a couple features. It doesn't have all of the features. Uh, but I was a very big fan of this. It's very helpful, especially when you have when you are getting a lot of text messages like you saw. Um, it doesn't intrude with anything. If I'm playing a game and a message was to come in, it wouldn't freeze the screen, and then um, I wouldn't be able to return to my game or then uh, or anything like that. That's in a nutshell. That's basically what it is. I can't really show you my messages. Um, let's see. Let me go in and show you the Twitter integration. Integration. Twitter integration. So uh, if I have a photo of, let's say, this picture that I took, um, as you can see, that's me in the background. Um, so then I can press this, and I can email the photo, MMS, assign to contract, I can print it, and I can tweet it as well. So if I want to tweet this image, I can write it, and then I can also add, a, add my location, and then I can just tweet it out. So um, the one thing I really th this is really missing is uh, Facebook integration. I'm not a very I'm not really a very big Twitter person. I'm more into Facebook. So I was uh, it was missing the Facebook integration, which is not that big of a deal because I I'm, I assume they're probably going to add that in the next build. Um, and uh, time's coming up to about ten minutes. So that's basically it. That's beta one. Um, that's what I what I saw the differences I mean there's probably much more there's about 250 changes to this uh, the new, there's a new Xcode in there which I just started to play around with 
Um, this is very nice. It's a very nice update, uh, and I can't wait to uh, get all the new ones. So, uh, guys, if you like my if you like this video, please subscribe, um, like this video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one.